Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is a Schrader valve replacement on a air conditioning unit at the service port. Okay, so anytime you you pull off your hoses, you want to go ahead and check the Schrader valve right in there to make sure uh, that it's not leaking. All right, but using a tool like this, we can actually replace a Schrader valve if it does not want to reseat properly. Uh, in order to not lose the refrigerant charge or not have to pull it out. You can actually replace the Schrader valve uh, with a tool like this without pulling all the refrigerant out. All right, this particular one is made by C&D valves, all right? And for your reference, the model number is C is in Carl, D is in David, 3956, okay? Um, I don't have affiliation with, these, with this company, um, and I'm sure there's other companies that make a tool like this, but this is the one I've been using over my career. All right, so we see that this unit has pressure. The unit is off right now, but it doesn't matter if it's on or off. It would be better if you know once that this is leaking that maybe you have the system off while you're doing it, just in case. All right, but anyway, this uh, pressure is at 165 right now. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect our gauge. And then we're going to leak test the Schrader valve. So we've done that. Now we're going to go ahead and spray our leak detector. I typically use Super Blue product because um, it has a wide range of temperatures that you can use it uh, in. You want to watch for bubbles to see the creation of any bubbles or bubble movement. That will be indication of a leak. And if you look real close at that bubble right there, the bubble actually is growing right now. All right. Just very, very slightly it looks like. Okay. Then that bubble just popped. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. All right. But you want to do this anytime that you disconnect your, your hose set. All right. You don't want to accidentally leak your refrigerant out, out of your Schrader valves. Sometimes they don't receipt properly. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and blow out the bubble leak detector. All right. Make sure that stuff doesn't get into the refrigerant lines. And then we're going to take our valve removal tool or valve replacement tool and we're going to go ahead and screw that on first make sure that's a nice tight seal all right all, right. all the rest of the caps are tight okay the pressure is automatically going to want to push this back and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this knob push it forward and unscrew the schrader valve Okay, it feels like we have it now, okay? So we'll pull this back, turn it, shut the valve, and we're going to disconnect this. And there's our Schrader valve right there, okay? So there it is, all right? We've got our new one here that we're going to put on. All right, there's our old one, and there's our new one. All right, so we'll get rid of this one. And we're going to put this on, all right, just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and screw it in. Make sure your cap's back on. All right. You usually put your gloves on just to make sure you don't get any refrigerant on your hands. So you shouldn't really have much of any leaking out. All right. Then you're going to go ahead and tighten that in, and you're going to screw it back in to the service port. Okay. You want to get it, you know, snug, but not too, too tight, because you could actually break those Schrader valves. All right. Now we'll go ahead and shut that, and we'll disconnect. All right, and it, that's it. All right, we're going to check it again just to make sure there's no leaks this time. wait and just take a look at the bubbles for a while once again if there's any movement in the bubbles all right that would be an indication of a leak or if you see a large bubble pop that would be an indication of a 
a very large leak. All right, so we're going to go ahead and blow that out. Make sure that that micron bubble leak detector is no longer there. All right. And that's it. And then you just go ahead and put your valve cap on um, right after you're done that, okay? There's different valve caps. There's plastic ones. There's brass ones with flare with a flare front. And then there's uh, brass ones that have rubber inserts in them. This happens to be a brass with a rubber insert. Make sure you don't get any sand into the freighter valve or anything like that, just to make sure that it does never make its way into uh, the refrigerant lines. All right. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and see you next time at AC Service Tech.